makes great decisions. Looking forward to watching him play tonight. TJ Reed on the toss, shakes the defender, first down yardage, and more as a Derek Moore pushes him out. A season ago, picked up 330 yards per game on the ground. The handoff to Jake McKenzie, picks up. Navy type numbers on the FCS level. In the pitch over to Trey Shivers, number 22, and White and Shivers is brought down once more by Moore, but continuing to get to that. He can pick up eight extra yards. Ryan Warrior, good job from that right tackle position. Birch just fumbled it, falls on it, and you talk about Ryan Warrior, the fact that he... 225, very active though, so guys like that, they do a great job with low leverage. Dive hand off to Bronson Rex Steiner. And Rex Steiner up ahead for a ball effectively. That lets you know it's technique, heart, and determination to get the job done for them. Irks being rushed out of the pocket. And he's hit from behind, brought down. Nowhere to go as. Down. Shannon is continuing to fall. We had an hour weather delay to start this game. And Kennesaw State on their second offensive possession. Turnover on downs. Their first one. Hand off to Terry. And Terry has popped out out of bounds. Oops. Taking his time as the clock winding down. The handoff to Jake McKenzie picks up some tough yards. Much more effective than in that trail position. Ray Shivers. Shivers is met very quickly. Play like the last we saw from Tennessee Tech. Still was three yard pickup for Kennesaw State. This is Burke's first pass attempt of the night and kind of some confusion there as two receivers. About the coverage and didn't realize there was two receivers in one area. Burks with the pitch out and good yardage picked up there on. Uh, by Kennesaw State blocking on the perimeter. Perimeter blocking sets up first down. Up the 41 yard line. The handoff to McKenzie. Just over three minutes to go here in the first quarter. And Burks with the pitch to Shivers. Shivers went inside just a little bit. I saw some pancake blocks out there. I'm going to call him Big Nick because he's a big lineman there. 6'2, 288 pounds. That's more like a normal size offensive guard in college football. Powerhouse Hoover High School in Alabama. Shaquille Terry. Nice cutbacks and one back. Darnell Howard. Quick hand off to Terry. Terry once more, but this time nowhere to go. Is that Almost 100 yard rushing in the first quarter. Uh, that's why they lead the nation. This time it's TJ Reed. And so we've seen seven, seven different defense. They're, they're guarding their legs. They feel like little gnats are always biting at their ankles. You see a bunch of people trying to shield the guys off of their legs. This is an area where they excelled last year. Great on third down conversions. Second oh, in FC. This is how Tim does. Trying to push the pile ahead, but Spat. Second and goal. Burks decides to hold on to it himself, and it's a touchdown. Speed of the small tackles, that second level. They're getting up to the second level, getting legs on linebackers, which is really disrupting them. 
Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Are they playing bowling out there? They're doing football. Like they don't see the blockers coming. You saw the scouting report. You know this is what they do. You have to stay upright. Burks backwards and now forward. And then on the stop, Jake Ward. But from Tennessee Tech, they're always on the ground, so they're not matching the speed that it takes to overcome an effective option attack. Jay Reed on the backs. And he's tripped up once more. As head coach Brian Bohannon has been under Paul Johnson at a few different stops, maybe to the tech. And once more, here's TJ Reed. The ball pops loose, but he was ruled down. For the elbow hit. once more helping the Owls to convert on third down. Give the wild the running back options whether to go inside or outside and force that end man on the line of scrimmage and make him cut sooner rather than just opening up the rest of the field to him giving him. You can see it coming all day but it's just tough to actually see it on a regular basis and to prepare for it. And right now it looks like Tennessee Tech hasn't made the adjustments just yet. Pitches it over to Shaquille Terry. Terry slips through a couple of defenders up the right sideline, and he's pushed out by Deontay. Remember, they want two, eight different ball carriers. They've combined for more rushing yards tonight than Tennessee's Tech. Tennessee Tech's total Look at offense. And right here, Trey Shivers with an opportunity to get to the end zone, and he's in. That Madonia has plenty of leg, but the timing was off, forced him to push it to the right. Being held east and west, so good stop there from the Golden. On first down, that's a good start for this defense on this series. Look out. Pitch right there, just spun off. Arnell Holland, but there's a... Wow. It's seven minutes to go in the second they quarter. Just jinxed us now. Oh. Right. Moving up ahead is Jake McKenzie. Senior third and 17. Remember, Jay, Chandler Burks has only attempted one pass tonight. Here, they collect to hand it off. Stick to what you know. The Aggies have to try to find a way to pull off the upset. And you have Clemson winning that one. As the hours have been really on cruise control after. Oh, but just tuning in. This is a rushing attack that's been having their way with this Tennessee Tech defense so far in this contest. Nearly 200 yards on the ground, and here's Chandler Burks keeping it himself. How about the QB? He's probably already in double digits for tackles in this game, and that's not a good sign. You don't want your free safety making that many tackles versus an optional tackle. Burks on the pinch. Squeeze him. That short side. Johnson was and Bohannon coached there as well. They love the option. They know what it can do for it. Oh, well, on the FCS line, it's going to be tough to beat. Got him. All oh, the rare passes tonight. Burks heaves it up and wow. left it up in the air for a long time. And Justin, Justin Sumter, the senior out of Tyrone, Georgia, was Burks' favorite target a season ago. And here tonight, he connects once more. And they really like Justin Sumter. I mean, they call him a dynamic. Receiving last week and a touchdown in that losing effort against Georgia State. Oh. Well, folks, you want to stick around? Oh, right there, boring plays, but move the pile, pick up yards. The Owls, three for five on third downs tonight. Once more, they go for the dive again with Jake McKenzie, but I think he's going to be... Oh. Big fourth down coming up for Tennessee Tech. Can they get a stop? And the speed on the outside for Terry. <laughs> and he picks up. Brings up first and goal. Ninth play of this drive. Burks. 
keeps it himself. Andrew Schweinsgood brings him down. And Burks taking his time. Decides to hold on to it himself once more, and he's in. Walker's mixtape. It was a mix. It was a little bit of LL Cool J, Cut Creator Go. First, you know, you need to kind of, yeah, your generation, old school, new Genesis, school. Yeah. yeah, I like it. Darnell Holland, I like it as well. He's up the middle. Who's going to catch him? The 20, 10, touchdown! A 75-yard run for Darnell Holland. Burks. And this Kennesaw State offense was red hot in the first half. Picked up nearly 300 yards of total offense, 265 to be exact in here. Third quarter action. Roll on the play, Clark. And there's Chandler Burks saying, I'll take it all by myself. I got this, y'all. And they bring out the turnover plank. Another quarterback under center, the junior Daniel David. He's in now. Handoff to Rex Steiner. Short gain, and we talked about old sapphires. The other one's just wood and a marker. Simplicity. Simplicity. Blue collar mentality. Okay. That's all. I think it's one of those things, it's like, what do you like? You know, if you like the flash and dash, you know, like them float or something like that, and, and whatever's working, it's like the, the flash of the Miami boys at the bottom or the country boys at Kennesaw, Georgia. Even though Kennesaw's right outside the land. About 75 miles outside of the ATL. Ooh, did you see that? Did you see that shake? With him taking over the reins once Chandler Burks graduates. And I think he pushes through to the end zone. So Daniel David. Average of 320, just 310 a season ago. They've got 370 something now. And it's the third quarter with plenty of time left. They're on their way to rush for 500 yards in this game. Daniel David, a dangerous pitch there at the end, and they're going in the wrong direction as a huge. But with the way they've been gashing this defense, <laughs> would not be surprised if you saw Kennesaw State running back find a crease for a big game. David holds on to it. Chris Tucker helping to bring him down. Got about a mile to go. Pitch it to Isaac Foster. He won't pick up enough yards, but when you're up 42 to 3, it's a showing everything off. They like get the plank and they're like, oh man. We don't have any fronts, Jay. <laughs> no fronts. <laughs> this is an offense we've seen all night that just keeps it on the ground, but this eats up a lot of teams of the OVC. Tennessee Tech, another OVC team. The third straight OVC team they've beaten. He's brought down in the backfield. He's a young man. He's a great story for this Golden Eagles program. Maybe once more. And is brought down quickly again by Josh Brooklyn. His first game in nearly two years and had eight tackles and once more pick six. And they had to limit the number of plays he played last week. And Kennesaw State made it look easy to rush for 383 yards. And it's not supposed to be. This is supposed to be a physical football team round and pound. But they dashed it. But again, how difficult is it to prepare for a triple option team, something you don't see very often? Tweet. The funny part was there were some one-on-one -on -one matchups where it looked as if the purple jerseys didn't want the contact. They anticipated getting cut, and they ran around it. And that allowed this Kennesaw State offense to take state the level. Dive handoff. 
Two to three over Tennessee Tech as we start the fourth quarter. And the ball came loose. It delayed because of weather had to be played on Sunday. Sunday and the Aggies go on the road. How, how, make it happen. How about a lot of delays? Because, I mean, we sat around for about an hour before. <laughs> Pay me, me my, my money. money. Yep, I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> they were celebrating in the locker room. Everybody's happy. And he said, oh, yeah, one more thing. Pay me my money. So it's a tough money game there when you expect to win. And good job to North Carolina A&T. There were some people that thought they might have been. Who's the Peyton Award winner from a season ago? Jeremiah Briscoe at quarterback. I just think it's going to be smooth sailing. The, I'm sure the rest of the conference is gearing up for them, and we'll see. They've got a matchup this weekend versus Prairie View A&M. See, they're starting to emerge as a continual power on an annual basis. I think the thing that shocks me the most there, looking at that top 10, I didn't see a lot of representation from the CAA. Good look there at the Golden Eagle, but it's the Owls who have been flying high from Kennesaw State. Second drive for the third string quarterback, Tommy Bryant. And getting an opportunity just to see the depth. Third string guy, watch and see how much he carries out his fake. Little extra step in the footwork. You see that? Everything's perfect. <laughs> nice pitch, nice call. And there you go. It's Bicklin up the side. And he's Hello. trying to do it right. He's got to impress the coaches, Jake. Would have pitched it, just let him keep going, but he did a good job of carrying out his fake. Ryan, a sophomore out of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Go back to those days. Tuscaloosa, Alabama. I appreciate you shouting out and giving the love to the third string quarterback because, again, he knows he's being graded, he knows he's being watched. Yeah, that, that was me once upon the show, you can do it, so. Thing about playing quarterback, only one at a time on the field. So, third string guy gets in there, you got a feel for him. I hope he can do a good job. Hand off the full block. The quarterback broke his chin strap. Had to be ready now. You're gonna think I'm lying, but my first high school pass was a touchdown, so <laughs> I was ready. <laughs> a big pickup on fourth and one moves the sticks. Those are eye popping numbers as they led the nation in rushing a season ago. We're talking about just how young this program is. It's a program record as Bryant decides to call his own number and he's in for the score. 